back. How do we move blocks from one block region into another? Well, hopefully by now this is starting to feel a bit more comfortable. If we want to go ahead and access the blocks edit page, we're going to go to structure and then blocks. And then right here, um, I did mention this is a drag and drop interface. So hopefully you figured out that I could just as simply take the search form, move it into sidebar second over here and go ahead and click save blocks. And what do you think would happen by doing that? Yeah, you probably assume that that search box is going to get moved over into onto the right hand side and you'd be absolutely correct. That's what's happened. Um, I mentioned in the last screencast that when you don't have anything in a particular block region, then that block region sort of disappears. Like the content just sort of moves over to uh, to to kind of take up all that space. And in this case, uh, because we didn't have anything in the sidebar uh, the sidebar second, I think that's what it's called, uh, because we didn't have anything in the sidebar second block region, um, uh, the this content sort of took over this entire region. However, um, because now that we have moved something over, now the content is kind of squishier in here. Um, what would happen if we move navigation over to here? As you'd expect, you'd probably expect this to stretch all the way over, and let's do that. But I'm going to actually move it using the contextual menu this way, this time, just to show you um, how, remember I, a long time ago I mentioned that there's usually lots of different ways of doing the exact same thing in Drupal, and this is no exception. If I go ahead and click on configure block, okay, um, I actually have, I could change the block title, I'm not going to, um, but right here under region setting, uh, where it says Bartik, which is the default theme, we're not going to worry about seven, that's our administration theme, and we're not currently working with that quite yet, um, but right here, we can actually move things right in here. We could actually select, you know what, move, move that over to the sidebar second instead, and we'll go ahead and click save block. And that's just a handy thing to do. It saves you the trouble of having to click on structure, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there we go. Block configuration has been saved. Everything's been moved over there. Let's go ahead and reload that. Um, but of course, if we wanted you know, the search box to be above there, then we're not, we can't do that by going through the contextual menu. We're actually going to have to go to blocks. I'm just going to go ahead and reload this and this blocks page here, and we'll see where it says sidebar second. We just need to reorder things by dragging that up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click save blocks. There we go. Okay. So that has been saved, hopefully soon. As soon as that's done saving, I'm going to hit reload over here. There we go. Let's hit reload. And there we go. So we've just moved that around. Okay. Um, we don't actually, what if we wanted to move the, the um, what if I don't like it there? Well, let's move it to, let's move the search box up to, say, the header. Let's put it in the header and let's see if we like it over there. See, this is really nice. A lot of this is sort of a bit of, you know, a little bit of trial and error, just deciding where you like things. Okay, I like that. I like having my search box up in the header. I'm just going to reload that to get rid of that. There we go. So now my search box is up here. I can go ahead and perform my searches up here. And there we go. So everything seems to be working as expected. That's terrific. Um, let's do one other thing. You'll probably notice that this actually looks a little bit different. When this particular search box was down here, it had a gray background with a white box. But then once we moved it up here, it's you know it, it adopts the same background color as everything else, and it's got a light blue. Um, background color inside the box. Um, if we were to move it elsewhere, the styling would be slightly different too. That's because different block regions have specific styling attached to them. That's where styling rules, where Drupal's going to change things like the colors and the size of the font according to a predetermined template that the uh, that is that is written into the theme. Okay, um, and that's that's completely different from theme to theme. Okay, you cannot assume the same the same format will happen in a different theme. A different theme will handle it completely differently. Um, let me demonstrate that. Um, it's easier to see actually with text, and so what I'm going to do is this powered by Drupal note over here. What I'm going to do about that is I'm going to move this over to. We're going to see what it looked like in the footer. We'll go ahead and, yeah, that's been saved. Let's go here, front page, and let's take a look at what that that text looked like. We see, okay, powered by Drupal down in the footer. We'll see that anything in the footer, by default, uh, Drupal is going to, uh, or in particular in this case, it's the Bartik theme, is going to give it a sans serif font and make it slightly smaller than your regular text. And that makes sense, right? It's, it's, it's 
footer text. It's not meant to be really, really kind of big. Um, let's contrast that, for example, with something like, well, I'm going to click on configure block here so that I can just go directly and change, change the location of the powered by Drupal block by moving it up to, oh, let's move it to, let's move it to featured and see what happens if we move it to featured. I'll go ahead and click save block. And here we see, wow, same text, but it looks a lot bigger. It's got a gray background and it's got, it's much larger t uh, font. So now we know that any time, and it's centered as well too. Anytime you put anything in the featured, um, the featured um, uh, block region, it's going to make that text a lot bigger. Let's try doing something else. Let's try moving this to highlighted. See what happens if we do that. And just waiting for it to reload. Okay, so highlighted seems to, I'm just gonna go ahead and reload this to get rid of that little notification there. Highlighted seems to underline it and put it at the top up here. So that'd be nice if you wanted to put some messages through. Let's actually see what that looks like when you're not logged in. Let's see what that would look like. And now this is all gonna change. There we go. Okay, so highlighted means it's slightly larger font than the normal and it's underlined. So maybe if you had a special message, you know, um, or maybe a little summary of that article um, that was on the front page, you could put it right there. So you start to understand how, um, you know, all the themes try to apply styling in a really reasonable and logical way uh, according to what type of content you'd be most likely to put in there. In the next, um, uh, currently what we've been doing is we've just been moving around pre-existing blocks. Um, in the next screencast, I'm going to show you how you can start creating your own blocks and, and that becomes really fun because there you start to realize um, you can add a whole lot of content to your site and move it around really, really simply just by using the whole blocks region function of Drupal. And so that's what we'll do in the next screencast. But until then, I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.